Hey guys, my name is Samantha, and this is an intermediate reading class on Verbling. Um, so today we're going to be reading a few choose-your-own-adventure stories. So what that means is um, we'll be reading stories and deciding which path we're going to take throughout them. So we'll be reading some fiction, um, and we will make some decisions about where we'll go with the story. And we will also discuss um, the decisions that we've made afterwards. So you'll get some reading practice with fiction. And yeah, if you have reservations, you can come join me right now. Um, if you don't, you can go to verbling.com slash get reservations. Um, you can get reservations by liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to Verbling. There's some other ways you can get reservations there. Or you can become a premium member at verbling.com slash premium. 25 bucks a month for a membership, and it gives you unlimited reservations to classes. Hi, Anton. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Great. Okay, cool. Um, so it's about, is it 10 a.m.? Uh, uh, no, it's 11 o'clock. 11. Oh, I was close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Paris right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's the weather like? Oh, it, uh, it is uh, a little bit cloudy. Yeah. Uh, there are some clouds in the sky, but uh, but also it is sunny. So we got so excited it, it yesterday is, yeah. because we finally got sun, and it was really oh. warm and sunny, and it was beautiful. And then today, it's rainy <laughs> again. Oh, I think so. I think that uh, this rain will come to our country soon. I think because we um, we ha had not uh, have rain. Rainy. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you see why? Uh, why I can't see my camera? Um, I don't know. I can't see you. Up at the top, um, top, you can see a little microphone and then a little camera. Maybe try clicking the little mm, camera. It doesn't work. Mm. Am I audible uh, clearly? Mm. Yeah, I can hear you. It's perfect. Info. We can hear you perfectly. Okay. And hi, hey again, Igor. Hi again, Samantha. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, Anton, I can see you now. Cool. <laughs> but now I can't hear you, so uh, click no. your mic. <laughs> okay, there <laughs> yes. we go. Already did this. <clears throat> so, um, everyone, if you're watching, you can come on in if you feel like doing some reading. Um, so I like, like the poster next to Anton. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Not keep mine. calm it's and roommates. carry on. Uh -huh. keep calm and okay. Carry on. <laughs> cool. Uh, some people say, "Keep calm and love me." <laughs> yeah, there's lots <laughs> of different. They are writing their name. Yeah, For there's example, lots of different parodies of it now. It's like keep calm and love Samantha. I like this. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe we should just scratch out Anton's mm. sign and change it. To the <laughs> I, I told you it's not mine. <laughs> uh, my so roommate will be angry at me. <laughs> keep calm and love Fanfo. <laughs> keep calm and love Fanfo. <laughs> keep calm and love Anton. We, I don't think your roommate would be very happy if we changed your sign or his sign. <laughs> yes. And what is the meaning, carry on? Carry on means on. Continue, continue, continue moving forward in your life. Carry on. Um, so what is the meaning of this? Uh, so in its expression, it's um, it, keep calm and carry on. It kind of means like when a lot of bad things are happening or something's happening in your life, you need to just stay relaxed and just continue with your life. Move ah, forward. Okay. Yeah. Samantha, I would like to ask about uh, an expression. That when people ask how are you, you say life goes on. Is it a good expression or negative or positive? Yeah, it's it's kind of negative. If you say um, I'm okay, you know, life goes on. It means that like maybe something bad has happened to you and you're kind of coping with it, and you're saying yeah, it's okay. Like I'm doing all right. Life is going on. Um, it's positive in the sense that you're moving forward. 
But if you answer someone that way, when they say, how are you, you say, life goes on. It implies that something's wrong. So it would make the person think that you're not okay, that something's wrong. And they'll be like, oh, you know, what's wrong? Are you okay? How's everything going? Is, you know, So it's not exactly negative, but it implies that you have some problems in your life. But oh, okay. um, okay. if, for example, uh, someone asks me, how are you? And I say, I'm unbelievable. So what is the meaning? If you say unbelievable, that means yes, that you're unbelievable. Like, you say I'm. You can't. You don't usually say I'm unbelievable. Uh, okay. Say, uh, like I'm, I'm doing unbelievable. No, it's not possible. Yeah, you could say I'm doing. You could say I'm, I'm doing awesome. Great. No, no. I'm, but if to use this word unbelievable, uh, so what you can say about me? Uh, I'm doing uh, good or bad? If you can say I'm believable. Yeah, it depends on your tone. <laughs> if you say I unbelievable, then it means like, oh, oh no, it's something's really bad. But if you say unbelievable, then it means like it's amazing. So it can mean both. It depends on how you say it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because um, something can be unbelievably bad, but it something could also be unbelievably good. So it goes both ways. Okay. Hello, Vincent. Hello, Min. Hi, Min. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Thanks. So, today we're going to be doing a choose your own adventure story. So, we're reading some fiction, um, and you'll see how it works, but we're kind of making our decisions about what to do as we go. So, you'll get lots of reading practice. And um, it will show how how well you comprehend what you read when you make the decisions. Um, so I will share my screen. I think we'll have time to do two of these. Excuse me, but we'll just start with with one, and we'll go from there. So here it is. Can everyone see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It says um, I'll read this first part. Ever heard the expression, walk a mile in another person's shoes? This is what this game is about. It's also to, um, a test to see how you would survive as the head of a child family in Rwanda. There are hard decisions to make, and the well-being of your whole family depends on you. Okay. Do you guys know this expression? No. Yes. No. So, yes. So what does it mean? To walk a mile in someone else's shoes. To understand uh, how feels uh, an hour, um, our uh, person, you should um, uh, live his life, kind of. Yes. Yeah, so to understand, um, if you say you you should try living in my shoes or something like that, it means like you're stepping into the role of someone else's life and experiencing life as them walking in someone's shoes. So, um, if you like traded places with a friend for a day and did everything that they normally do, you would be walking in their shoes for the day. So, the goal of this is to pretend that we're um, a child family in Rwanda, so we're, we're walking in the shoes of this family. Okay. Um, so, check out the scenario. Here we go. We've got actually got an image. Mm -hmm. I can make that a little bit bigger. Um, so how about um, Anton? Would you like to read the first paragraph? Okay. Okay. And then Fanfo, you could read the second paragraph for us. Okay. So, go mm -hmm. ahead, Anton. You are the eldest child of five. You have one brother, Wilfred, and three sisters, Maria, Danielle, and uh, Clarice. Uh, you live in a small hut uh, with only half uh, a roof made of uh, that shed, that shed grass, that that shed grass uh, that leaks during rain. Uh, your your main possessions are a male goat, a small plot of land uh, you use for gardening, two water containers, some pots and um, <clears throat> and pans and the clothes you stand up in. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you live about 30 minutes walk away from a standby that provides clean water. Your family needs 10 
100 liters of water each day for washing, cooking, watering crops, and drinking. This is Daniel's job and takes her most of the day. In the morning, both Maria and Wilford attend the school. Good. Is there any vocabulary, any words that you guys don't <laughs> recognize? I have a question about uh, eldest. Um, <clears throat> when sure. do we use uh, eldest and oldest? Old they're, and, uh, yeah, they're and actually eldest. they're the same. They're synonyms. Oh, okay. So you can choose between them. Um, eldest sounds, I guess it sounds a little bit more fancy, but they're they're synonyms. So you can either be the oldest child or the eldest child. Okay, thank you. Um, any other vocabulary? H U it hot. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I know it. What Sorry, is that, which... thatched? Oh, thatched. 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 Um, thatched. I think it'll be easier to show you actually. So let's show you what thatched means. Thatched. A thatched roof. Like this. Mm -hmm. Oh. So where it's kind of woven. You can see. Mm -hmm. um, here's somebody making a thatched roof. <laughs> so it's made with straw, um, wheat, that sort of thing. So it's a style of a roof. So it only has half a roof made of thatched grass. So if it only has half a roof, it makes sense that it will leak, right? So if it rains, the water will get through, um, unless it's very tightly woven, but in this case it's not. It's a small hut with half a roof made of thatched grass. So does everyone understand what the situation is here for us? A small plot. What is that? A small plot. Oh, a of small, land. Yeah, a small uh, plot of land. It just means a small area of land that you can use for gardening. Okay. So, um, maybe, I don't know how much, a little part of their backyard, a small area or plot of land that they have where they can plant food, plant um, crops. P pots and pans? Pots and pans. Yeah, I'll show you what pots and pans are. They're things that you use to cook. <coughs> okay. So the pot, a pot is what you would make soup in and the pan is what you would fry something in. So okay. the pan is the flat one and the pot is the deeper one. Pots and pans. Anything else? So what is our situation here? Many children. Uh, yeah. Poor family. Yeah, poor family. House is uh, destroyed. It's mm -hmm. not a good house. So how would you describe the living conditions? Weird. Weird, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, weird means talk, like talk. strange or odd, right? So I don't think that's maybe the right mm. word to use here. I think uh, tough, tough conditions. Tough, yeah, tough. You could also say poor conditions. Poor. Tough, yeah. poor living conditions. Okay, let's see what happens. Poverty. Poverty, yes. Mm. Okay. Um, Igor, could you read this for us? Uh, yes. You ate, eat, eat, eat the food you grow on a patch of land near your house. At the moment, you are running very low on food and have almost no money. Your neighbor has offered you some work digging their plot of land in exchange for a day's um, ration. Uh, of sweet potatoes and other vegetables. You have a choice ahead of you, should you continue to work your own plot of land hoping things might improve with the next rains. Dig your neighbor's plot in exchange for food. Okay. Can you pronounce moment again? Moment? Moment. Moment and ration. 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 Do you know what a ration is? Uh, no. So a day's ration is the amount of food that you are allotted or allowed for that one day. 
okay. a day's ration of sweet potatoes. So how much, how many sweet potatoes and vegetables you would eat in one day? That's your ration. Okay. Um, people usually ration food when they have a limited supply. So when they're poor, um, or you know, that that's when you start rationing food, or kind of really keeping track of how much you can eat each day. Um, portion. Portion, yeah, a portion, exactly. Um, so now we have a choice. What should we do? <laughs> should we continue to work on our own plot, hoping things will improve, or should we dig our neighbor's plot in exchange for food? So work for the neighbor and dig their plot. Or should we hope for the best and hope that things will get better? <laughs> what do you guys mm. think we should do? I think uh, we should find uh, uh, a job or go to study to find a better job. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that's not an option. Or to so, lend money from bank. We only have two no. options. <laughs> okay, I would choose A. A? <laughs> a? So yeah. hope yes. that things go better for you? Okay. Let's let's do that. Okay, let's see what happens. It says you need some garden tools. Do you choose a hoe and a machete, or pruning shears and an axe? Do you guys know what these things are? No. 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 Okay. Only so machete. Let's go one at a time here. Here's a hoe. Um. This is a garden hoe. You see okay. It? So it's something that you oh. use um, to kind of work the soil. So you move the soil around with this. You can see this person gardening with a hoe. <laughs> um, and here's a machete. Oh. <laughs> Not the movie, <laughs> but this, this tool. Here's, here's a good picture. This is a machete. Okay. So it's like a big knife. Knife. <laughs> so you could use it to, I don't know, cut open uh, coconuts, or you could use it to chop at a tree, a small tree, that sort of thing. So we either get a hoe and a machete, or we get pruning shears mm. and an axe. So let's take a look at These are pruning shears. Pruning shears. OK. OK. So they're usually used. Um, well, you can use them for lots of things, but when we're talking about gardening, they're used to clip the stems of um, certain plants, that sort of idea. Um, and an axe is what you use to chop wood. So, <laughs> not the brand <laughs> axe, but uh, this is an axe. <laughs> um, and a small axe, a very small axe, is called a hatchet. So, what do we want to take? Ho and machete or pruning shears and an axe? Uh, anyone remembers what do they what they grow on their garden? What we should do with this uh, instrument? Yeah, did they tell us I what kind of food they grow? Potatoes or no? Yeah, sweet potatoes. Uh -huh. Then we should use the um, hoe. The I hoe think. and machete? I think. I think that would be more useful, probably. Okay, let's do that. Let's see what happens. <coughs> good choice, it says. Okay, <laughs> we've made a good decision. <laughs> um, Mohammed, would you like to read this part for us? Mohammed. Okay, uh, Anton. Okay. Um, good choice. The hole is needed to for digging your garden. The machete uh, is needed for chopping and clearing. Uh, should you plant a uh, sorghum and sweet potatoes? Uh, B uh, maize and sweet potatoes. Okay, so I don't know. What? I don't know what is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorghum so and what maize. are these things? <laughs> so let's take a look. This is sorghum. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so it's a type of grain. Um, it would have lots of fiber, so it would be good for us, right? Um, that's sorghum. And then this is maize. Type of corn. Maize and potatoes. Mm -hmm. You think we should make sorghum or, ma or maize? maize? Maize and sweet potatoes. Maize and sweet potatoes. Okay. Uh, I don't know, because oh. <laughs> uh, we have um, a goat. 
And uh, I don't know, um, maybe sorghum is the food for our goat. I don't so know. what's more important, do you think, feeding you or feeding your goat? Oh, okay. Feeding no, no, but it's, okay. no, it's a legitimate question because you, you need to keep your goat alive, right? You but, can get milk uh, from the goat. But, you it, can, right? but it's real goat. It doesn't produce milk. <laughs> but but goat can, can uh, eat everything. Yeah, and you oh, can okay. also eat sorghum. Mm. It's something that you would cook into um, into oh. a dish to give you more fiber. Um, oh. But I think that maize looks uh, looks more attractive. <laughs> it does look more delicious, I think. <laughs> more de delicious. Okay, yeah. let's let's do that. Let's get some. Maize. We, we choose two twice uh, A. Now we should choose B. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens. Um, Fanfo, could you read this for us? Sure. It's a dry year and the crop will fail without more water. You can get clean water from a standby, but it's a 30 minutes walk away. The local pond is not very clean, but only 10 minutes walk away. Daniel already makes 15 tribes a day just for your family. Okay, it's 15, Do you get 15 trips. 15 trips. Yeah. Do you get Wilfred to go with Daniel so they can bring back double the water? Give Daniel another water container so she can carry more? Decide to use bond water anyway. Okay. What should we do? So we're having trouble. We need water, right? We need water. Yes. So yes, here, we need water. so we've got a few options. Should we send mm. Wilfred with Danielle so they can bring back double the water or twice as much? Um, should we make Danielle carry twice as much, or should we just use the pond water? What is pond water? Okay, so this is pond water. Um, Okay, here, this is kind of a good picture of a pond. So, kind of like a small um, water area. Usually it's surrounded by a marsh or like plants like this. Um, and generally, pond water would be dirty. It, it probably would make you sick unless you were to boil it down until it was um, okay for you. But it's, it's, not, it's not clean water. It says the local pond is not very clean. But mm -hmm. only a 10 minute walk away. The clean but, water is a 30 minute walk. But uh, for what we need water? For crop? Yeah, for your crops. Um, and probably also to drink. But they're just saying we need it for your crops. So we cannot send Danielle because uh, she already makes 15 trips a day. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. might, she might um, faint or. <laughs> something if we send her. She might pass out. I, I think a good idea to provide a pipe to our uh, house. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good <laughs> idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why but, we should choose from these ideas? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> these ideas I don't think they, they have the materials to, to make a pipe. <laughs> to find oh. someone mm -hmm. who would make Okay. So uh, I think C. maybe Let's yeah, maybe maybe C. B is the C. worst yeah. option, right? We don't yeah. want to make Danielle carry twice as much water. That's not a good idea. So, yes, because she may happen something to her. Yeah, something might happen to her. So should we send mm. her with Wilfred, or should we just use the pond water? What do you guys think? Pond water. Yes, I, I think I agree with you. Pond water? Okay. Yes. Well, let's see what will happen. I'm scared we're going to get sick or something. <laughs> no, but for crop, what is crop? Your crops? That's your um, your plants. Oh, it's your okay. We will not uh, eat this uh, Well, you uh, won't crop. drink they the water, but you do eat the crops that you grew yes, with. Yes, but uh, not uh, that day, after. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so hopefully they'll One be month. okay. See, they've, they've thought of the same thing. We'll see as we read. So, um, Igor, could you read this paragraph for us? You don't have extra water containers, but Daniel works harder and goes to the stand, stand pipe? Yep. 
in the morning for cooking and washing water and uh, to the pond in the evening for water to use in the garden. Even though the water is uh, unsafe to drink, it's okay to use it for watering the crops. What I said. Yes. Uh, You're so wise. Them, sorry? <laughs> I said you're so wise. <laughs> no, because you do not drink this water or no, drink, exactly. you use in your food. I don't know to make uh, something cereal. Said no, but you use to um, to to, uh, to grow crops. Yes, the land uh, and yeah. the, the land is dirty. So water is dirty. It's okay. Uh, unfortunately, due to the long dry spell, the pond soon dries up, and you can't get enough water for your crop. The crop is very poor, so you don't have much to eat. Everyone is hungry. Hun hungry? Yeah, hungry. Hungry, hungry and uh, Clarice, Clarice's condition worn, worsens. You hear there are free medical checkups and medicine available at your local clinic. It's a full uh, day walk there, uh, there and back, but may be of some help. Do you? A. Decide to take a pre how did you say precious precious day out and take the whole family. Carry on working. You have to look after what you have left. Good. Okay. So I <laughs> just said my precious in the chat because if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, <laughs> you would know my precious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this film. <laughs> um, okay, so let's take a look at the vocabulary. Do you guys know what a dry spell is? A long dry spell? Without uh, rain? Yeah, so dry spell is a period of time with, with, without rain, or a dry mm -hmm. period. It can also drought? be called a it's drought. It's yes, yeah. exactly, mm -hmm. a drought. I um, didn't know what is the meaning, but in context of, of this text, I understood that... About yeah, that's this. good. That's good. Um, that's kind of how you need to figure out what words mean is from their yes. context. So that's perfect. Um, so our pond soon dries up. That's bad news, right? So now yes. our pond is dry and we can't get enough water. Um, do you know what the word worsens means? To become worse. <laughs> yeah, it gets worse, it gets worse. right? Everyone is hungry, and her condition is getting worse. It worsens. Mm -hmm. um, a full day's walk there and back. Have you heard there and back? To go forward and back. Home. Yeah, so you use it a lot when... Um, okay, bye, Fanfo. Um, when you're talking about, like, a trip, you take a trip there and back to one place, and then you return. Um, so what should we do? Decide to take a precious day out and take the whole family to the medical clinic, or should we keep working? We have to look after what we have left. Hey, of course, hey. Of course, hey. Yes, I agree. Okay. If they uh, sick, we have to. How? We have to what do we have to? What? We have to uh, take care of them. Yes, we have to take care of them. It's something normal. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, this one's long, so we'll take turns. Um, uh, Anton, can you read the first paragraph mm -hmm. and then Igor? Okay. Mm -hmm. It takes you half a day to get to the local clinic. It turns out that the aid agency World Vision is giving free vac uh, vaccinations for tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, the nurse, uh, Jack. Jack. <laughs> Jackie, um, Jackie uh, looks at Clarice and says uh, she needs more food and more variety in her diet to stop her getting mal mal no, no malnourished. Malnourished. Uh, she gives you some biscuits uh, that contain proteins, uh, protein, and um, also some medicine for Clarice to take. Okay. Anton, Jack or some, um, Igor. Jackie mentions a free course that teaches a skill like sewing, sewing, what? sewing, sewing or pottery. Yep, pottery. Pottery, 
World Vision can teach you how to set up your own business. To do the course, you will have to leave your family each day for six months and take Maria and Wilfred out of school so they can cover all the jobs. It will be difficult for your family. Jacqui uh, says she can organize for World Vision workers to come by often and check on your family as well as helping out with food. It's a possible step up, but a hard decision. What should you do? Okay. Accept the skill training course? Go back home to think about it? Say no, it will be too hard on your family. Okay, so let's look at the vocabulary first. Um, yes. What's a vaccination? It's uh, a medicine that is given to a patient to uh, to become more uh, to, to become less resistant to viruses. Uh, yeah, yes. To right. Right. So it's usually a, usually a needle um, with medicine of some sort that helps you become less susceptible. susceptible is the word yeah. susceptible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to a disease. So less likely to to get that disease. And they actually, what they do is give your body just a very, very tiny amount of the disease, a very small um, exposure to the disease so that your body can learn how to fight it off. And then that's supposed to make you less um, susceptible. And some persons died because of vaccination, after vaccination. Yeah, sometimes people um, just don't, their bodies don't accept the vaccination very well. Even if it's the tiniest bit of a disease, some people just can't, um, their bodies can't handle it, and then it ends up um, killing them. So, so that's it, why this is controversial. Yeah. Um, what is controversial topic? No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, for sure. Um, and then, what other vocabulary do we have? What about malnourished? Malnourished. Do you know what that means? Can you guess? What does nourish mean? Uh, needs to more food. So, uh, very teeny, very teeny. Very <laughs> right, so nourish means that um, it's talking about food. Healthy. So if you're, yeah, so if you're well nourished, it means that you've eaten enough food. You've had enough nourishment, nutrition. If you're malnourished, that means you haven't had enough good nutrition. Vitamins, vitamins, yeah. minerals. Mm. Enough vitamins, yeah, vitamins. vitamins. Um, in British English, it's vitamins. It's vitamins. So <laughs> in American yes? English, it's vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I <laughs> so. speak half of words in British, half of words in American. Yeah. <laughs> so that sounded British, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> um, so malnourished means that you don't have enough enough nutrition. Um, you need more vitamins or vitamins if you're British. <laughs> um, so she also gives some biscuits which are like little cookies or little crackers that have some protein um, and some medicine for her. Now it says that Jackie mentions a free course that teaches sewing or pottery. Do you know what those two things are? No. Okay, so sewing Go back to our pond water here. There's sewing. This is sewing. Needle and a thread. Oh, and you're okay. I know. Something. Um, so you have your needle, your thread, scissors, um, and you make clothing or um, stitch something up. That's sewing. And this is pottery. Pottery right here, this picture. Uh, it's where you're, you're crafting, um, crafting something with clay like this. It's actually you, really, really fun. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. <laughs> do you sew, Samantha, or uh, Potter? Potter? Um, I can sew. Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> but I can sew enough to, like, if I have a hole in my clothes, I can sew. I can do sew you like out. this uh, activity? Not really, no. It's not but, your hobby, um, yes? <laughs> <laughs> but pottery is really fun. Because you get your hands all dirty with the clay, and what I don't know if you've ever seen someone doing it, but you hold you hold something and try to mold it with your hands, and then it spins around really quickly. Yes. 
and you're like molding it and you get all covered in clay and it's kind of fun. Um, but sewing isn't really any fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> More just to fix something if I have a hole. <laughs> um, okay. Any other vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what should we do? So, what are what are our two options here? A, A, I choose A because the situation is very difficult, so we should something to change. Okay. No so more thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so enough thinking. Enough thinking. It's not working. Okay. So should we we should pick up a skill like sewing, uh, go home and think about it, or just say no, it's too much? Yes, A. Do you agree, Anton? I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe it's good to think about it for a little bit, just uh, for a day or a couple of days, to discuss it with family. Your family die. Your family <laughs> die. <laughs> they understand they ill, they sick, sick. Have They're sick. This. Yes, they malnutrition, uh, mal mal malnourished. It's malnourished. Your yeah. daughter or some. You should <laughs> something okay. to change. <laughs> okay, what do you think about? Let's accept the, the It's a chance. Thing. It's a um... <laughs> You're very passionate. <laughs> but uh, they can uh, but uh, they can um, they cannot uh, we we don't know for sure if this chance will uh, will be successful or not. Yeah, because so what would happen if we learn how to sew or learn pottery? Then what what happens? She's explained it here for us. So what happens if we were to pick up we a can, skill? <laughs> we can start some, some kind of uh, business, same as a business. Yeah, but but what's the downside for our family? Take a look uh, at the reading. You have uh, you will have to leave your family each day for the for six months and take Maria and Wilfred out of school. That's a lot of work, right? Yeah, so that's yeah, that's going to be tough for your family. Yes, and also, we, we, they have to give up uh, the, the education at <laughs> school. Yeah. Mm. Temporarily, I Temporarily. think. I think that you could go mm. back to school, but um, you would miss a lot of school for six months. So, I don't know. What so, do you think? So, I think that... I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's be choose, pessimists let's, and choose let's, no. Let's, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's choose A, okay. Okay, yeah, let's go a. for it? Okay. All right, okay. we're going for it. Let's see what happens. Got a they already live in uh, bad conditions. I don't know what w would can be worse for them. Yeah, so we're taking a chance. Taking a chance. Bite, you can't hear us? Mm -hmm. um, hi, Jana. Hi, Jana. Do you have a microphone, Jana? Okay. Um, all right. So, who would like to read this one? I'm not sure whose turn it is. Okay, it's mine. I think it's Anton. Mine. Okay, Anton, um, go ahead. Well, Division offers a course in stove making. Uh, the course has enough room for 15 people. You are you are accepted and attend each day for six months. Uh, you learn to make a special cooking brazier, uh, brazier uh, that uses much less. Uh, Cor corcoal, charcoal, car charcoal, charcoal uh, that than uh, the normal ones. Uh, this means a great business opportunity, as well as less uh, trees being cut down. You also get uh, taught uh, some soil conservation and uh, agriculture techniques that will help you m uh, make the most uh, of your ha of your land, and you learn basic reading and writing skills. As you are uh, away during the day, World Vision uh, workers keep an eye on your family and ensure they are getting enough of enough to eat and staying healthy. When you finish World when you finish World Vision offers you an interest-free loan to get started in your own small business. 
you plan to do this with uh, a friend you made with, while at the skills training center. Uh, your future looks bright. You see? Future. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> it turns out said, to be <laughs> all happens to be good. Successful. And now it says survival rating high. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> who, who said to think about it? One day, two days. Oh, come Who's on! <laughs> I'm just not a very risky person, I think. Yeah, it's hard to take that risk. <laughs> who who um, watched uh, with Will Smith the uh, movie? Um, um, uh, Breaking oh, Bad? I've seen with it. His um, son, with uh, his son. Yeah, it's called The Pursuit of Happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't watch. It's very you should good. watch this uh, movie and you understand. Mm -hmm. And yes, happiness is spelt that way. It's spelt incorrectly. Normally, happiness is spelled like this, but they've uh -huh. spelt it differently for the film. It's a very good movie. Yeah. Um. So any vocabulary <laughs> here? Do we know what? Do we know what a stove making course is? No. I know what a stove, but what okay. Is so you know what a stove is, and yes. you know what the verb to make means, right? Yes. So what would stove making be? What is stove? What is a uh, stove? This is a it's stove. kitchen appliance. Yeah, it's kitchen appliance that you use to cook. Oh, stove. okay. Okay. How to make a stove? Uh, to <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> how to, to make a stove? So. But keep in mind the conditions that we live in, right? So they don't have a big electric stove in their house. They're they're using other methods of cooking, and they're saying that with this stove making course, um, you learn to make a special cooking brazier that uses much less charcoal than normal ones. Oh, so, what is so cooking brazier? Um, so cooking brazier it just means like a cooking appliance. Mm -hmm, okay. And it's using less charcoal, so we're learning that we're cooking using charcoal. Um, burning charcoal to what get our charcoal? What is charcoal? charcoal? This is, I don't this know what is coal. Or what is charcoal? Yeah, it's like it's like coal. It's like coal. <laughs> this is charcoal. I, oh, I know. okay, I, okay. Right? Um, In Russian, it's charcoal. Is charcoal yeah, <laughs> it can actually be very expensive. Um, so to to figure out how to build something with less charcoal, that would be great, right? That's a good business opportunity and less trees being cut down so that's great um, and then it says we've also learned some other skills what other skills did we learn uh, how to read <laughs> how to write yes so we learned some agricultural skills soil conservation yeah. and agricultural techniques yeah what is soil so it, it's uh, ground. ground yeah it's the ground so, like oh. the dirt Right? For ground for uh, growing plants. Yes. yes, exactly. So soil conservation, you've learned how to keep your soil healthy. Some agriculture techniques, you learned how to read, how to write, so you've learned a lot, so it was a good decision, right? And we survived! <laughs> okay. I want to see what happens if we go on a different path. Let's just take a look. <laughs> so let's dig our neighbor's plot in exchange for food. Let's see what happens. I've gone back to the beginning okay. here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What what would have happened if we'd got taken this path? Igor, could you read this for us? Your neighbor gives you some sweet potatoes and a few vegetables each day in exchange for digging the her land. She may feel sorry for you, but she makes you work very hard. You get up a very very early and work until the sun is about to go down. Because you are away all day, your sister Maria can no longer attend school in the morning. She needs to do your tasks. Uh, Maria and Wilfred, between them, still tend you your small plot of land and grow sweet potatoes there. Your neighbor has enough work for you for one month. There is a possibility you can work at the brick making, brick making, yeah, yeah. Uh, kiln, 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 kiln. After that, but you you are uh, concerned that your brothers and sister aren't going to school. They need to learn skills so they can get jobs 
later. What would you like to do? Okay. Go to work at the Brickman Kiln, go back home and take back the chores so the other children can go back to school. Okay. So, um, what is a kiln? <laughs> a kiln. Mm. It's like a really big, really, really, really hot oven. So, oh. you use it with pottery. So, you mold your pottery and then you put it in a kiln to harden. Um, and you use the same sort of thing with bricks. So you shape the bricks and then you put them in a kiln or a, a hot oven to dry them out and harden them. So a brick making kiln would mean that's what you would be doing for work. Um, is there any other vocabulary here? I think it's clear. So if we had gone this way, what would you do now? Would you go and work at the brick making kiln or go back home? I think we should go 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 back home because our children, our, our brothers and sisters need to get education. Okay. What do you think, Igor? Should we go to work or go home? Igor, can you hear us? I think Igor might have lost his connection. Okay, so let's go home. Let's see what happens, Anton. <laughs> can you read that for us? Okay. You are back home again, and the children can now go back to school in the mornings. Uh, if, only, uh, if only things didn't take so long. Uh, Maria could spend more time making baskets uh, and sell, selling them if um, it didn't take her half a day to do all her chores. Danielle can't help much more, carrying what it takes just as long. There is a local pond which is only 10 minutes walk away from your neighbor, na neighbors. Say uh, you shouldn't use it. Uh, it, would, uh, it would more than have uh, Danielle's uh, work, workload, though. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah. Give the pond to try. Uh, there must be a reason why your neighbors don't use it. Keep using using the stand pipe. So it's asking uh, us about the pond again. <laughs> <laughs> let's so, let's stick to uh, <laughs> to the uh, stand. Yeah, stand the pipe. stand pipe. Let's see what happens. This no, let's, time, okay? let's, do, let's just see what happens. <laughs> just to see, we already yeah. survived once, so we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll just. We'll see what happens this time. So, a good decision, it says. Okay. Um, Igor, can you hear us? No. Okay. Go ahead, Anton. A good decision to, uh, to use the standby. The pond water is dirty and will make you and your family very sick. You are still stuck with the, all those jobs, though. Uh, through local talk, you hear about a, a scheme, a world vision. Um, is running uh, where uh, is running where they will give you uh, some goats free to and provide some training so you can look after them well and perhaps even breed them so well. To apply for this scheme, you need to to go and talk with World Vision. Why don't you apply? Okay. Uh, why so don't you apply? I think. Uh, what is a scheme first? What is a scheme? I I think it's some kind of uh, course, no? Yeah, like a course, um, a plan that they're running, mm. um, something that they're doing to help people. So they'll give you some free goats and they'll train you so that you can breed them. So what should we do? I think we should apply. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get in on this scheme. Okay. It takes half a day to get there. Months of worry and lack of food have brought you uh, and your family close to complete physical exhaustion. Uh, I, a World Vision health worker named uh, Cla Claude uh, gives your family food and also gives you some clothes. The first you've had since, uh, since 1994. Uh, he arranges for you to stay for a day or two so you can rest and also find out about the goat skin. You talk a lot with him, it's so good 
to discuss all your difficulties with an adult. He says Clarice is very mal malnourished and uh, gives you protein, protein biscuits uh, to take back with you. Okay. Um, uh, next. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I would like to um, to ask um, what what do, does it mean to take back with you? To take back with you? Yeah. So it says. I, I, oh, I I see. It's a uh, so that I can take them uh, back to home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So to take oh. back means that you're taking it home with you. You're returning home mm -hmm. and you're taking some some biscuits. So he was very. Oh, generous. by the way, it's wa worry or worry, <laughs> worry. I think. Worry. Ah, uh, worry. Worry. I always uh, confuse confused with the uh, worry and worry. Where's worry? I'm trying to oh, find. Oh, the first first paragraph. The first, oh yes, the, the second worry. sentence. So the difference is oh. worry and very. Wor worry and very. Uh -huh. It's the pronunciation, okay. so it's your okay, W okay. and your V. Okay, okay. Can you pronounce the two of them? I just want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very and wor worry. Yeah, that's worry fine. Worry and very. Yeah, perfect. Um, so, go on. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Carry on. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh no, it tells us already we survived. No, let's, uh, <laughs> let's continue. Um. You live with two goats. The female is pregnant and have had some basic training in how to look after them. Along with your goat, you can start a breeding program. Uh, Claude says that uh, uh, Claude says there is a group of child-headed households that meet in your area. They discuss their situations and help each other out. Uh, there are plans to teach this group some business skills to help them make uh, make good business decisions with their gold uh, gold breeding programs. Uh, he's uh, going to introduce you to the group uh, the next time he visits. In the short term, you will still face difficulties, but long term, your situation will improve. So right. I'm writing hard. Okay, so just so um, to mention this punctuation here, these um, mm -hmm. hyphens, they've used to kind of make a statement separate from the sentence. So you live with, you leave with two goats, the female is pregnant, and have some basic training. So when you're reading, you want to kind of change your tone a little bit. So listen to mm -hmm. how I read it. You leave with two goats, the female is pregnant, and have had some basic training in how to look after them. Okay. So you just kind yeah. of adjust. Pause. To use pause. Oh, Igor's back. Yeah. Igor, we couldn't hear you that whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was on the phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so you use a pause, and you also change your tone of voice just a little bit because you want to really separate. Otherwise, it sounds funny. Like. You leave with two goats, the female is pregnant, and have had some basic training. It doesn't quite sound right, so you need to just adjust your tone a little bit, mm -hmm. as well as pause, to make it clear that it's separate. Um, so what happened? Uh, could you summarize? Uh, oh, we survived. So that was good. <laughs> um, and then we decided to go back and start mm -hmm. over. Um, and what has happened so far, Anton? Oh, uh, <laughs> let me, let me, no, let me recall. We survived uh, first time. When we survived, we survived. first time it was. Uh, we, we decided to help uh, our neighbor. Uh, we, yes, uh, yes. After then that. we uh, refused to, I think we, we refused to go for a um, Curses? kiln, 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 something. Yeah, to go uh, work at the kiln. At the kiln. Um, but then they asked us to use the phone uh, again, but we decided to um, to stick with the with the sand the pipe. Str yeah, the pipe. strong pipe, the pipe. So this time we didn't go to the pond. <laughs> yes, and then um, it it turns out to be a good cho choice, and uh, also um, this vision world vision company. Uh, proposed uh, us uh, some kind of uh, 
um, train courses scheme yeah. mm -hmm. schemes uh, in uh, goat breeding, and uh, we decided to go for it. And, and after that, uh, after some some um, days, some months of uh, uh, bad uh, condition, and uh, we, we've been a lot of in a lot of trouble. <laughs> It, but uh, we finally we survived and um, we uh, became successful in our uh, goat uh, goat breeding. Yep. So business. exactly. So we're we're goat breeders now. <laughs> yes. I think this is for um, children. These stories because uh, in both cases we see happen <laughs> happy ending. But uh, I would uh, want to see in one. Uh, <laughs> Happy yeah. ending and another bad ending. So I let's would. See, uh, should we see if we can find a bad ending? Yes. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's start over and let's make let's make some really bad decisions. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. okay. Um, continue to work on our plot or dig our neighbors. Dig our neighbors. Okay. Let's do that. Now, should we go to the kiln or go home? Uh, let's go home again. Go home. Let's go oh. home and then uh, choose pond. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give the pond a try. Yes. Okay. Now it says. No, um, we don't go to the house. Yeah, we case. used it to. We used it to cook, yeah. wash, and drink, but we're getting very sick. <laughs> it says you need a doctor immediately. Oh. Uh oh. So now what should we do? Uh. Make the day's walk we, to the let's, clinic? Uh, if we yeah. decide to die, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's commit to suicide. You'll be okay if you rest. <laughs> okay, let's, we will let's rest. see what happens. We can't, we can't. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, um, what does it say? Igor, can you read it for us? <laughs> you, Maria, mm. and Wilfred are okay because you are slightly uh, older and have more energy reserved to re rely. Yep, rely upon. upon. You recovered. Daniel is still very ill, and unfortunately, little cl Classy could not survive the fever. Oh, Sorry, we killed your survival rating is low, and you need emergency aid as soon as possible. Oh, this is bad ending. No, now it's I... that's terrible. We killed Clarice. <laughs> and no, Daniel I mean, uh, he, he exists yeah. bad ending, not only good endings. Yeah, so, so there are some bad endings. Um, it's kind of actually it's it's kind of fun. I don't know. I like these things, but it's interesting to put yourself in in the shoes of someone else. Um, can you imagine living in these kinds of conditions? Yes, but I would uh, definitely change something. I would go maybe uh, to study or to work. To f uh, the most uh, easy thing is to find uh, a job, a different job. I don't know all kind of job. It's very easy. So I don't know what conditions. So they you think have. you would look for a, a better job to maybe make some money for your family? Yes, different job. I mean, if I, for example, I studied in one area, yes, and I do not have in that area a job. So I would go right. to another job only to make money for my family. That this makes is sense. the most easy. The most easy. I think okay. way. maybe they live so far from. From uh, towns, and they uh, they live in a small village where there, there are no, uh, not many jobs. Yes, go and see a job in another village or in another town, or telecommuting f f uh, through internet <laughs> if you have internet. Oh, yeah. Many yeah. job opportunities on the they internet. Don't, though, and they I, don't think, <laughs> I think they don't have access to internet, and I think that a lot of the problem is that the the town that they live in is so poor that and there's such bad weather conditions that they're running out of food, they're running out of water and they don't have the resources to go find a job. They're just trying to survive, right? It's yeah. actually really sad but um, common. Here's the link. Um, if you feel like reading through it again or whatever, mm -hmm. it's there if you want it and for everyone outside. Um, that was fun. I like that sort of reading. Um, Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I'll give you my Facebook and check me out there.
Um, I'm teaching the next class as well. We'll be doing some creative writing. So hopefully I'll see you in class. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon. <laughs>